Native versus cross-platform apps. What is the difference between them and which one's better, native or cross-platform apps? Native apps are exclusively designed for a specific platform, such as iOS or Android, meaning that iOS apps will never work on Android devices and vice versa. So why would anyone choose to create an app that only works on one operating system? At the end of the day, you're still going to pay for both operating systems. If you're making an app and you want it to be available on iOS and Android, and you're choosing to create native apps, you have to pay someone to create your iOS app and then pay them to do your Android app. This obviously also doubles on the time. Trust me when I tell you that most people will actually choose to create native apps. So there must be a really good reason for that. In this video, I'll provide you with four different reasons why you should work with native apps. One of those will also show you why cross-platform apps might be better, but at the end of the day, native apps are definitely the way to go, and I'll give you a very good reason for that. Before we begin this episode, make sure you do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you keep getting all the new videos that I'll be publishing. And let's get started. Number one, performance. Native apps utilize the capabilities provided by the operating system. That means if an app is developed for iOS, it will use all the capabilities that the iOS operating system provides and offers. Same thing for Android. That means that these apps will less likely experience performance issues such as lags, bugs, crashing, or even not launching to begin with. Cross-platform apps, however, they're not really targeted towards a specific operating system. A cross-platform app is meant to work on Android and iOS. And because of that, some issues sometimes happen and it even allows the app or stops the app from launching to begin with. You will also experience a lot of crashing or just slow performance in general. Even if the app is working fine, it might just be slow. And that's because it wasn't provided or it wasn't specifically built to work on the operating system on your device. Number two, features. Native apps are always updated by the operating system's owner. For example, Apple always updates its language Swift, while Google does the exact same thing with its main language Kotlin or Java with Android. This means that the language is always aware with the operating system or the hardware upgrades. Developers can straight away utilize any features provided by the hardware or the operating system for that native app. Cross-platform languages, however, are independent and usually experience some delays with their updates, meaning some features might be available with the operating system or the hardware of the device, but the language is still not updated to accommodate for those changes, meaning a cross-platform app might really experience some delays or not be able to utilize the iPhone or the Android phone up to their full potential. This means that native apps usually can be updated easier and can work with much more devices and updates. So this one definitely goes to native apps as well. Number three, feasibility. Now we can all agree that price, cost, and budget is one of the most important things when it comes to creating an app. At the end of the day, no one wants to pay the, double the price for anything. And that's why this point has to actually go to cross-platform apps. Native apps require one developer or two developers to create the same app twice. If you're creating an app for iOS and Android with native languages, you have to just create two versions, one for each operating system. At the same time, you have to keep in mind that if any error glitches or bugs are then detected after you update or after you launch your app, you're still going to have to create a fix for each operating system for each versions. And if you just wanna update your app, you still have to do that for the two different versions. This is all money and time and effort going just because you're using native apps. And that's why this point is obviously going to be going to the cross-platform apps. With a cross-platform app, you can create one update and it will fix the problem on both operating systems. You can also put your time and money towards one app using one cross-platform language and then publish it on both operating systems at the exact same time. This means that both customers will be able to use your app straight away and not have to wait for one of each. And it will mean that you're pretty much cutting the time by 50%. Number four, user experience. 
User experience is the most important thing when it comes to apps. No one wants to use an app that looks ugly and doesn't work as it should be. Considering the point number one that I introduced, it is a no-brainer that native apps will work better and quicker. iOS apps, for example, they always look really good, they always work the way they should, and they always really quickly. Now, take in mind Android apps, for example, and we're just going to consider that they develop for Android, even natively developed Android apps, they look a little bit worse. Look at Facebook, Instagram, or anything else. And the reason why they look a little bit worse is because Android developers have to accommodate, or they try to at least accommodate for each Android device, which is so much more. While iOS developers, they know exactly the range of products or the range of iPhones that will, that will have their app downloaded on them. Because of this issue and because of the wide range of, of phones that will accept an Android app, Android apps usually do look a little bit worse than iPhone or iOS apps. Now imagine if it wasn't just Android, but if it was a cross-platform app that's meant to work on iPhones and Android devices. You can already imagine that a user experience will be really bad. And that's because developers will just find it really hard to accommodate for iPhone users, Android users, and any other device as well. It's true that some developers or all developers do apply some constraints to the layout, which means it will allow it to work on all devices. But working on all devices doesn't mean that it will look and it will provide a good user experience on all devices. And that's why this point goes to native apps. Native apps can be completely polished down to a specific device or a specific operating system to make it look pretty, make it usable and make it easier for the user to use as well. In conclusion, it's obvious that native app development is the way to go at the moment. However, it seems like cross-platform apps and cross-platform cross languages and environments are really making a comeback and might be used primarily at some stage in the near future. At the moment, native apps are the way to go. I make my apps in native languages all the time and I know for a fact that most studios do the same thing and they do use native apps, although it might be a little bit costly your clients are always going to be happier when you use or when you give them a better looking and a better usability product. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't agree with me, please make sure you write that down in the comments. This is a huge debate between app developers, so I'm expecting a lot of backlash on this. Thank you once more and have a good day.